Hello everybody, Jimmy here. When I was growing up and in the 60s I went to a parochial grammar school. At times they used to get us to crawl underneath the desk and pray that the Russians wouldn't be sending over any nuclear bombs, you know, and nobody would attack us. So it was driven into everybody that they had to, you know, contribute to society. Well, from 1969 to only two years ago, I've been contributing hundreds of thousands of dollars into uh, Medicare and into my taxes, federal taxes, state taxes. And I don't have a job after three years just because of President Obama doesn't think it's important and he doesn't realize that with no taxpayers, how can he spend money? And Governor Christie of New Jersey did, just aren't any jobs. But that's not my point today. My real question is, is that if paid in all this money, the government keeps saying that Medicare is going to run out of money. Meanwhile, President Obama took money out of that to fund Obamacare. Well, I just got one question for all the liberals out there and the Democrats and the president, which obviously won't answer me because he doesn't have an answer. But my question is, is that, you know, one day when I hope to retire and get some money and some medical insurance through Medicare, you know, and they keep talking about running out of money, when is welfare going to run out of money? That's not, that doesn't seem to be a topic on the democratic side of the government and the president. Spend, spend, spend. I don't think that's in the vocabulary. I like to see the dictionary that Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid you know, uh, look at. Those words must not be in there. When is welfare going to run out of money? Please let me know, or is there a secret pile of money somewhere that the federal government has just for those people? I'm sure there's a lot of people, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's a lot of people that really need help. But what about me? I worked since 1969. I helped build the infrastructure of this great country. My money went to buy the railroad cars in the city that all the people from other nations get to enjoy riding in air-conditioned trains that are quiet and everything. Meanwhile, when I was paying taxes in 1969, I had old cars with old tungsten lighting with fans trying to cool me down on the hot subway riding into the city every day. So please email me. I'm sure there's people smarter in this world than me. Friendsofjimmy at gmail.com. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye now.